and we're just going to start off by talking with Primark Victors who we picked up on the last stream and then we are going to go and get Javik first that's going to be the first mission that we do today and then we'll just kind of go from there Commander thank you for allowing me the use of your ship and for going along with this plan Gareth said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems something about calibrations this sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right, but there'll be a lot more blood, real blood, if we don't try. And when you put it that way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? Lots of questions. Okay, so let's start with talking about the Palavan situation. How are things Palavin. on Palavin? <laughs> the casualty reports awesome, are thank you, Fate, for me and Alex. Thanks for letting me know that it's sounding good. Against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. Awesome. Thanks, Tiggs. Thanks, Dante. Palavan, and I'm light years but away. hello, Tiggs, by the way. <laughs> and hello, Alex, by the way. I hope you hope you're good. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men. So there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I can relate. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. <laughs> you never asked to be a leader, yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. Okay, so let's uh, actually thank you, Primark. Carry on. My thoughts are with Palavin. I will say. Mine with Earth. Oh, I will say the more I see my femme shepherd, the more on board I am, even with those eyebrows. Right, so let's go. So we're definitely going to take Liara with us, without a doubt. But who else do you guys think we should actually take with us to go and uh, pick up Javik? Please vote for a second companion uh, that you'd like me to take with us. Um, so let's let's go with Garrus. I, I mean, Garrus and Liara is my A-team. I mean, they're my A-team. I mained them for the majority of Mass Effect 1. So having them together again is just it just feels right. Yeah, you can't go wrong with Garrus, that Eden is correct. Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. Mm -hmm. And where Saren launched his first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. I remember the reports. I was busting my ass trying to find evidence against Saren. Hearing that he'd attacked a colony while I sat mired in bureaucracy, <laughs> that was a bad day. <laughs> Rest in peace, Jenkins. Rest in peace, Jenkins. You, we, we, we knew you not. Yes. <laughs> uh, you and bureaucracy, right. You always did prefer a straight up fight. Mm -hmm. And you're always good at helping me find them. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but they killed everyone near the dig site. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. <laughs> All right, everyone. Get ready to move. Here we go. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. Yeah, not likely. Yeah, Jenkins will be there in spirit. Absolutely. Hey, Sophie, by the way. How's it going? Hello. All right, guys. Let's go pick us up a Prothean, shall we? 
Let's do it. it. I did love this mission, this whole light of being no back at Eden Prime. Come on, we need to find the dig site. Like uh, that, that kind of like full circle. Beautiful colony once. Mm -hmm. It survived, Sarah. It can survive this. I grew up on ships. Lose one, you can always move to another. But you'd still remember. I love that that little kind of um, spacer comment there. It's very unique to my shepherd because of her background. All right, let's just explore everything, guys, because you know there's going to be stuff around. And now in the uh, legendary edition, they've started putting all the DLC armor on missions, which does make me nervous because that means like all the DLC stuff is missable. <laughs> Which I don't like. I always hate that. Processing update. We've taken more able-bodied men and women for, from pacified neighborhoods. The colonists generally have accepted the story that they have gone to perform a tedious but safe manual labor in a Cerberus research camp on the other side of the planet. And when we increase food rations as payment for the work, most of the complaints died out. Okay. Maintain the story as long as possible. We don't have the manpower to fight the entire colony. If these families knew they were never going to see their sons and daughters again, there's no way they'd cooperate. Damn. Cerberus. Cerberus data could help the colonists just... still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. Wow. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. All right, let me... Um... Look at that. Oh, yeah. It's a Prothean text sticking out of the ground like an old bone. Ooh. So, Liara, ever dug up, uh, what do humans call it? A dinosaur? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Oh, you were joking. <laughs> A bit. But at least you're catching on these days. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love the party banter. I love the party banter. It's one of the things I love most Ready about then? it. Let's go. I love the banter between Garrus and Liara. I love the the way they develop the that doesn't seem possible. The history between it's them. It's not a Prothean artifact. It's an actual Prothean. A Prothean. Like the collectors or those bodies we found back on Ilos. Mm -hmm. Like the bodies we found back on Ilos, but this one is alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, Damn. waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. 50,000 years. That is crazy. <laughs> what can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cipher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Hmm. Galactic community? You think they had something like a council? Yes, exactly. Their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close to those of the ancient Asari. Yeah. And given their similar interests in helping other species, it's clear that they believed in interspecies cooperation. <laughs> you mean interspecies domination, <laughs> more like. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. Oh, naive. I'm certain so I'm innocent. coloring their culture with my own perceptions. You really are. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. Mm -hmm. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Ah, <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Here they oh, that music, yo. Guys, that music. That is... Oh, great. Is that a goddamn phantom? Oh, is that... That's the sniper, isn't it? I hate those guys. This is why I wish I had my sniper. 
my visor looks awesome can i just say right okay let's get the armor piercing hmm let's get the warp ammo on um oh my god all the things right okay that's fine nemesis that's what they are the phantoms are the ones that cloak and have the swords right let's get that in there that'll do okay hold on uh, as things moved around yes they have <laughs> boom boom right okay uh right one hit there rinse and repeat come on girly now let's get that in there ah oh, i love doing that okay okay did that even hit him nice nice all right let's get me that What? Boom, boom. All right, let's get moving before more of them come back. So I am playing on insanity, guys. So I have to remember to be, you know, kind of cautious as I'm playing through this. Um, otherwise, I die horribly. Yeah, the the nemesis is is not that bad. Um, generally speaking, like I tend to snipe them like as a soldier, but obviously I'm playing as a sentinel, which is a little bit different. Uh, troop deployment update. Local resistance is heavy in the south and west sections of the colony. We've pulled most of our troops from the north neighborhoods neighborhoods to assist. All remaining troops in the north neighborhood continue standard patrol activities to maintain the illusion of a large presence in that area. If the locals knew we were understaffed, they would do some serious damage. More intel to help the colonists. Wow. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. Yep. I hear you. What the? I was not ready for you. How dare you? Okay, let's get you up. Go. That'll do. Okay, right. Let's get overload. Okay, I hate the engineers because they plop down like turrets, which is just a problem. Let's take him out of it for now while we deal with the other guy. Okay, um, uh, right. Let's get overload on. Overload on. That'll do. I hate smoke. Smoke is a real problem. Up we go. Oh, look. A turret. Lovely. Okay, okay. <laughs> Oh, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Okay, we'll do her own walk. That's fine. Okay. Let's do... Do, 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 do... No, let's do walk. Okay. Oh. Nice, that's that dealt with. <gasps> Lee! Oh my god, this is a bad place to be! Oh, oh god get over oh jesus christ what the hell oh my god i totally got flanked did you guys see that that was insane all right let's try that again thank you very much perry i'm glad you like the uh the hat i need to make sure i'm saving as i'm going as well guys don't i da, da, da. So don't miss any intel unless it remembered that i picked up this intel no, nope, it did not. More intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. Save. <laughs> oh my god, look at all the... Whoa. Well done. There's all the things... Uh, 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 uh. Oh, god damn turret. Right, okay, hold on. I can't hit Cheetos. At the worst possible moment. Lee, that's my cover. Get, get, get in cover. I'm on it. Get in cover, thank you. 
Oh, this is very bad. I'm getting hit from there, aren't I? Oh my god, this turret. Right, okay, hold on. Let's get rid of this turret. did it okay hold on oh <laughs> Liara, that's a really bad place to be right okay hold on can i actually flank from here can i flank yes i kind of can okay right that's that guy all right let's get him too concussive. Mm -hmm. He's gone. Oh, there's a combat engineer right there. Okay. Go. Nice. Another guy there. Right. There we go. Okay, that's fine. Right, overload. Overload. Okay, make it fly. Here we go. We got this. Right, where are we going? Find the pod data. It's going to be through there. Give Eden Prime's resistance movement a real chance to push Cerberus out of their colony. Mm. Bloody Centurion. Right, overload. Overload. Right, okay. He's dead. Where am I looking? Right, there's one more guy. Where Garrus is hunting him down. Garrus, you hunting him down? Where are we looking? Did he glitch? There he is. Ding ding. There. That lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. Feel like they're still uh, attacking. <laughs> okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, dude. My green eyes look even better. I guess they have seen the collectors then, the Protheans.
Alert! Broadside bulkhead cannot be sealed. Hostiles detected. Then all forces to the north. I think I can duplicate that to open the life pod. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make <laughs> sense of it without success. Liara's jelly. The Prothean <laughs> cipher you received on Pharaohs. It lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video and how they sealed the life pods. Perfect. Then we just need the signal they use to activate stasis mode. Awesome. Right. I'll catch up with my backlog. Um, as well as hanging, obviously, with friends and family, um, which I'm really looking forward to. So it's gonna, I'm really looking forward to the weekend, actually. I was super excited for it today um, at work. Okay, let's get this in. Right, let's get a singularity up in there. I need to pull in some others. Right, okay. Overload. That's fine. Singularity. And whoop. Ah, still got that. That's awesome. Bloody turret. There's a tur Do you guys see that throw? What the hell? Is that some seriously augmented arm right there? That's insane. Cerberus been putting like synthetic parts. <laughs> Like <laughs> into their troops because that is insane, right? Okay, that's fine. I hate smoke, so annoying. Nice, nice, nice. Come on, pull you in. Pull in. Nope, nice. And that causes him damage, which is awesome. Combo that with Liara. Oh, we're kicking some butt right now. That damn engineer. Nice, nice, that'll do. Overload. That's fine. That turret's gonna cause me issues. Right, okay, hold on. Right, let's try we can push on a bit. Got it. Go forward, but be careful. Right. Right. Okay, oh, Liara's warp does some good damage. Be careful, Lee, be careful. Go up. Oh, there we go. That's how we deal with you. Lift mm -hmm. grenade. Damn it. Too tempted. Oh, ho. <gasps> Did he die? We killed him. He did not die. There. Now he's that dead. lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal. Yeah, dude was on the baseball team, for example. Absolutely. You liked Class Vanguard? Uh, Captain Shepard, is that is that addressed to me, that question? Um, I do like the Vanguard class, actually. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the Vanguard. Um, I always play it usually on my renegade playthrough um because it just feels like a renegade class it really does but yes i do i do enjoy the vanguard especially in um mass effect 3 where you've got the combination of charge and nova it's really handy right that's fine i just want to make sure i don't miss anything oh here we go Baby Reaper. Jesus. Side beyond sight, lol. <laughs> the music on this DLC is so empire, good. Or it won't. We will sleep here until the Reapers return to dark space. Then we will rise a million strong. For the Empire. 
for the Empire. Get to your stasis pod. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. You understood that one too? Yeah. I've got the signal the Protheans used to activate stasis mode. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. Now we have to go back to the pod. I remember there being like some kind of drop down mech or something. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Too tempting. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Yes. That was amazing. Oh, shielded dudes. I hate these guys. Alright, okay. Well, we know what to do with these. We use singularity. That's how we deal with them. That is how we deal with them. Right, okay. Let's get us a singularity in there. If you've got Liara on your team, it's so much easier to deal with uh, with singularities. It really is. Oh, Lee's already there. Wow, okay. Let's get down. That turret's got to go. Okay. Whoop. Nice, nice. Let's get rid of this guy. Uh, give me cryo. Oh, well, that was a great combo. Well done, guys. So we're going back through that way. Mm -hmm.